little stroll around Peterborough Cathedral grounds. I used to do um, Moulton College just there. Uh, when it was there, I don't know if it still is. Uh, Moulton College and Horticultural well, uh, Design and you know what I mean, landscaping and all that. And we used to use the gardens behind here, the Dean's Gardens, to do a lot of the work. But yeah, there you go. It's, it's, it's now lawyers and everything like that, but these are the gardens we used to use to uh, practice our stuff. I never had enough money to finish the course, unfortunately. Six months through, I had to stop. Nice memorial over there. Um, Stephen Restrick, who was in the same school, me and that, and came from the same area. Last person to die in the Northern Ireland Troubles in 1998, I think it was. But here we go. It would have been one of the old either gas vents or gas lamps. But let's go for a wander. Foundry Walk Bell. Beautiful building. There uh, was a domestic right, let's have a look. The old men's hall was the domestic chamber block and hall of the senior monk responsible for the distribution of alms. Uh, the account of the William Morton almoner from 1448 to 1462 is the national significance in the history of monastic administration. And then, uh, almoner's hall restored in 1992, revered canon Jack Hyman, uh, Donald Gillat, uh, precincts architect John Lucas, Peterborough Limited. All oh, right, it belongs to the barristers now. So yeah, the buildings have changed use, but that used to be part of Moulton College, horticultural design and everything like that, agriculture and everything. Now you know, guys, where I get my uh, my love for gardens and planting. That's where I did my course. All right, original style there. Used to be a tool shed there. That's also the wall gardens all behind in there and everything like that. And then uh, look at that lovely building, look. All used as offices and stuff like that now. For anyone that's not been here, you're going to get to see some of the ruins now. Um, I forgot who it was. Cromwell or someone like that came along and uh, decided to destroy the cathedral as much as they could and uh, you'll see the private residence that building there but here we go look at that beautiful way eh? do you see it up there Notice the cobbled pavement. Just look at this. Want to know how small people were in the old days? That comes up to my just above my chest height, just there. There is, um, there's, unfortunately, yeah, scratched in graffiti over the years. Look at that window. Now think of that having sustained glass in it. Beautiful.
got a, even got its old signs and everything there. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a minute. If any of you guys want to stop and pause, you're more than welcome. Right, it's what it says is the monks' dormitory and rectory, the history passage. You're standing in the hostery passage, so all oh, right. Better. Uh, so named because it once have led to the Abbey Gatehouse or hostelry. All oh, right, hostel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a stone roof passageway leading from the cloister past the refectory or dining room towards the back gate of the abbey. Uh, behind this wall was the refectory where the monks ate in silence together. A single cooked meal each day it consisted of bread and two vegetables with fish or poultry on Fridays. Um, yeah, um, Presbyterians fish on Fridays, isn't it? Um, and feast days, the generous quantities of weak beer during meals. There were readings from the Bible or the rule of St. Benedict. Red meat was forbidden, although in later years, the Abbey, the eight years of the Abbey, this was uh, increasingly ignored. Um, just behind you on the first floor of the dormitory where the monks slept where the monks slept and from where they would go downstairs directly into the Abbey Church to sing the first service of the day about 2am, 2am, wow. The daily round of the Benedict worships involved at least eight services. So look, let's uh, give you a bit of that look. The inside walls are actually decorated, that's what I've shown you there. That's uh, around the corner here but you can't get in because the gates are closed at the minute. I'll have to come back for that one. Ah, oh, digging deep. Yeah, this guy was. Uh, the monks had to uh, sleep, clothe, belted, so they, when they were woken up, they could go straight from the dormitory into the church. Right, okay. Um, this guy here is a famous grave digger. But yeah, let's we go up and have a look a bit more of the arch. And I'll uh, quickly put my hand through so you can see a little bit. I'll do that for another time. Right, let's carry on. I uh, don't know if you can hear, but it's also a through route in the city as well. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? And now we come to some of these old buildings. Well, we've got businesses in now. Look at the uh, the wonky windows, look. And the old... Uh, Door noggers, these things just here, tie the building in, still got its uh, wooden lintel. And I like the way of the years when the building shifted, the windows have gone with it. Stone, brick, and everything. This one, uh, Ravenscroft. Look at that. Look, oh, sorry. <laughs> Look at the nodes just there. Oh, brilliant. Just a static film when someone popped through the door. Sorry, guys. So it's stuck in the front of this, even. Stephen's still got his uh, shoe cleaner. You notice the building's hickety pickety, but it's brilliant. There's even a, uh, a node just there. Uh, there you go. And then we'll. Uh, Show the old arches. There you are, mate. And then there's also one just up there. The old lighting system as well. And then the top of the arches, look. Brilliant as that, eh? Um, no way out, but I will film. Beautiful. I'll show you something else in a minute. It's uh, also here. As you can see, 
They've all got their little nodes and everything on. Excellent. Um, notice the, yep, where the chimney's been put. It looks like it's an old church type building, converted. It looks like an old church end. Uh, look at that, guys. Look at the beauty of this place. Wow. And this is uh, oh, right, somebody's house, so I won't be. But look at that. So, the one behind me, someone lives there. And that one in the corner, by the looks of it. Um, wow, what a pleasure. What a pleasure to live in one of these. Oh, oh just there, see it? One key window with these leaded glass and everything. Beautiful. Old street lamps. Very nice. Right, if there's no complainants, I would like to try and see if this is somebody's residence, because if it's somebody's residence, I don't want to. Yeah, it is. Right, can you see that at the back there? Bloody beautiful. The guys are doing a bit of work in there at the minute. Look at the old house. There's loads of hick of Piketty buildings around here. There's someone's living quarters there. Got a big window. <laughs> Used to be a way in here. I'm not sure we can get in there anywhere. Um, let's go and show you some stone coffins. This is where the monks and everything what were kept here. Oh, just underneath there for that door. It's an old tunnel system, but it's all locked away these days. But um, this is where the monks and the priests got buried from later dates. Look, it's a coffers, right? Look at that. Look. And here's some water open. Very small, weren't they? And this one. Even though it's own head pit and babies ones that that the cross had, would have had something on it at the time. Um, but yeah, this is where they lay all the priests, the deans, the canons, and the monks and all that along here. And there's a plaque called uh, go and have a look at that in a minute. Look at that. Look. Look like someone's come along and smashed it. Um, there's a lovely it's, um, stained glass window there. It'd be better from the inside. It's pretty dirty from this side. You won't see much. But there you go, look. It's such a beautiful building. The Bishop of Peterborough. The Bishop of Peterborough, June 29th, 19, uh, 1864, died August 21st, 1868. Uh, Celtic symbols, if I remember rightly. Jesus on the cross there, look. Not too sure what the writings are.
gets his own coat of arms on the grave, but amazing. A lot. I know we did on that flat roof. Yeah. Alright, let's have a look at this 